Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to look at testing gas pressure on a gas valve and how to adjust it. Remember, the pressure tap is located on the side. We use this 3 16 hex to remove the pressure tap from the outlet side. We're going to connect our digital multimeter in its place. And then we will energize the furnace to call for heat, monitoring the pressure on the manometer. And we can remove this little cap. And right in here, we can adjust the gas pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a field trip over to the furnace and adjust the gas pressure using the process we just looked at. Let's take a trip. All right, I'm glad everybody made it. We're going to get everything set up here. We're going to test the manifold or outlet pressure and see if it needs an adjustment. Let's get things set up. All right, we've got everything set up. We're going to energize the furnace and see what our gas pressure is. Again, we should look at the manufacturer's recommendations for what the gas pressure should be. For this particular application, the furnace says three and a half inches of water column. If an adjustment has to be made, we'll make an adjustment to that screw right there. So we're gonna energize the furnace to call for heat. And it's gonna go through its stages until it ignites. We're using inches of water column as the unit of measurement for our gas pressure. Slide this over, you can see we're connected to the outlet port right there. Right now we're showing about 3.3, which is within range but I'm gonna make an adjustment here just to show you how to make the adjustment. We turn it clockwise to increase gas pressure and counterclockwise to decrease gas pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this up a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. I'd say we're adjusted. All right. One thing, don't forget to put the pressure tap back in when we're finished. This has been the workbench series. We are adjusting gas pressure. Again, this should be done by a trained professional. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.